Look at my declutter pile. And we've only gone through like bronzers, blushes, and base products and stuff. I'm pretty proud of this so far. This is, this is uh, not so bad. So today we are gonna be going through my highlighters. And I just wanna give the same disclaimers that I gave in my other videos. This is not gonna be a massive declutter, at least I'm not anticipating it to be a massive declutter. Just going through my collection, getting rid of stuff that I don't use, don't like. And when I say during the video, toss it or throw out, I mean donate what I can. I've been looking into local nonprofits here. Unfortunately, a lot of them want like brand new makeup, unopened, unused which is not the case here. I think I found one place that will take like gently used powder products and uh, I will be looking further into that. I also have a friend here who has a daughter who's getting into makeup so she definitely wants to go through what I uh, am getting rid of and this same friend also is uh, a member of a church and I think that you know she could probably use it there as well. So anyway, um, looking into all of that, and yeah, so let's get into this highlighter declutter. All right, so we ended on this drawer. This houses some highlighters and some blushes, so we'll be going through this one. And then I have a drawer dedicated to highlighters, and then I even have some highlighter palettes like up top which we will go through as well. So I'm going to actually set the phone down and use both of my hands because we're finally at the height of this drawer thingy where my tripod makes sense. So anyway, let me go ahead and do that and let's get into this declutter. All right, so we're starting with this drawer that was like split between highlighters and blushes. So I'm gonna reach back here. I'm sorry you guys can't see what's uh, back here, but I have the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. I got this one, it was a very, very first released many, many moons ago, and I really love this one. It's so pretty, and I do feel like it's different from the palette. The gold is actually much more yellow um, than like a white gold in the palette, so I'm gonna hold on to this. I do love this one. Here is an Estee Edit highlight. This brand has been discontinued. I barely use this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Here is the Hot Sand highlight I really love this highlight. It's so beautiful. Look at that. It's just stunning. It's got the best like peachy tinge to it. So I'm going to hold on to this. Here are some Hourglass uh, strobe lighting powders. I don't like these actually at all. They are really um, micro glittery. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's just, you know, it's like a light coverage and then all you see is this glitter. So I'm going to get rid of this and I have another one in incandescent strobe light and I memory serves. This one was just as, yeah, micro glittery. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, not a fan. So I'm going to uh, get rid of these. And then I have, oh, what's this? This is, oh, Hourglass Dim Light. This is more of a finishing powder for me versus uh, a highlight. So I am actually gonna move this up to my powder drawer. And then I have this YSL Lumiere Divine. It's a highlighting finishing powder. And this is actually really beautiful. It is a very, very subtle highlight, but that would make a really nice finishing powder. And I'm gonna hold on to this because I have not played with this enough, even though I've had it in my collection probably for like a year now. So I'm gonna hold on to this. All right, and then we have, these are all blushes. So I'm gonna ignore these. These are my Tom Ford highlights, which I really love. These are the new Radiant Perfecting Powders. This one is Luna. This one is Gilt Glow. I love those. And then I have the Reflex Gilt Duo, which I also really love. So I'm gonna hold on to all of those. Here's the By Terry Duo, what is this called? Compact Expert Dual Powder. I have it in four beige nude. I really love this. The highlight is great. This bronzer outer ring is really subtle. So it's great for like a no makeup makeup kind of day. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I have some Guerlain limited edition highlights. These are very beautiful. So I'm gonna hold on to these as well. This one is a little bit more golden than the one I just showed you. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This one, you know, 
kind of torn because I don't really like it, but I feel like I should. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel that way. But they're a little bit more like glittery, PC, or I don't want to say chunky because it's not like it's chunky, but it is like PC. I don't, I don't like this. So I'm going to declutter this. Such a shame. I really thought I was going to like this, but I don't. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I have the Chantecai Limited Edition Moonlit Pearl Powder. I love this. It makes a really great subtle highlight. I think it's too much for a finishing powder, which is how they market it, but I like it as a subtle highlight. So I'm going to hold on to that. I have a Limited Edition um, Chantecai Year of the Dog highlight. This is definitely just a collector's item for me because... It has like this little wolf imprint on there and it's not that great of a highlight for me. It's really just for me to collect. So I'm going to hold on to this. Um, here is the Chantecai um, La Paillettes. Is that what this is? Yeah. Les Paillettes. This is gorgeous. This is that like interesting baked gelée formula. There's like two tones in here. You can mix them together. Just gorgeous. So I'm going to hold on to this. And then we have a whole bunch of Wet n Wild highlighters, and I really like these highlighters. Um, they are really gorgeous, but I know a lot of these colors don't work for me. I'm trying to remember which ones. So Crown of My Canopy, I haven't even opened. Oh, awesome. So I can donate this to that um, nonprofit that wants new makeup. So I'm going to leave this unopened, and by looking at it, I know it's too dark for me. I don't even know why I picked it up. Um, precious petals. Okay, this one I opened, and that's really pretty. I wonder if that's too dark for me. I think that one's too dark for me. Golden flower crown may be the one that works best for me. Let me see. Yeah, golden flower crown I like. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I really like these. And then here is blossom glow. I think this one was too light. Yeah, this one was like too like powdery light. Can you guys see that? So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have this Baby Becca highlight in Vanilla Quartz. I really like this one. This one is really beautiful. It has a really kind of uh, warm undertone to it, even though it seems pretty icy. But it's really pretty. So I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, these are all blushes. This is, well, this is a blush and glow. So I'm going to hold on to that. I just got this. My Surat. Yeah. So this is um, Oriol. So that highlight, definitely holding on to. Yeah. And the rest of these are blushes. So let's move on to the other drawer. Let's go into this crazy, crazy ass highlighter drawer. I also have some highlighters down here which were in contention for my best of 2018 highlighters. So I'm definitely keeping these. This is the JLo Inglot Loose Highlighting Powder. This is beautiful, I'm gonna keep that. The Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. Love this. I'm waiting for these to come out in single pans. I don't know why they haven't released them yet unless I completely missed it, but I don't think they have. Gorgeous, I love this palette. Here is that Chanel uh, Lion highlighter. I love that, holding on to that. This came really close to being my best of 2018, but this is the Burberry highlight in rose gold number four. This just feels heavenly, and look at this. Look at that shine. Oof, so good. If you guys haven't tried the Burberry highlighters, you may want to give them a shot. And then the Gucci uh, Illuminating Powder. Yeah, Illuminating Powder in Sunstone. I absolutely love this. It's limited edition, so I didn't mention it in my best of, but it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's even brighter than that Burberry. All right. This is the NARS Coucher de Soleil. I never use this. I was really hoping this was going to be similar formula to the Banque de Sable but it's really not, it's not quite as fine. And these shades are just too dark for me. So I'm going to um, get rid of this. I have some Kevin O'Quan here. This is the Neo Highlighter in Sahara. And then this is the Neo Limelight in Ibiza. 
this. This I'm going to get rid of. I'm I'm not going to use this. I thought I would use this side of it, but but no, I actually don't like that side. I don't like this powder that much. All right, this one I actually enjoy. Let me see if I still enjoy it. No, I think they're kind of powdery. I liked the Neo bronzers, but this Neo highlighter, I'm not the biggest fan. Yeah, I'm gonna pass this along. Uh, my Clay de Peau in number 15. I really like this one. This is actually a fun kind of like blush topper highlight. It has like a really pretty peachy tone. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Definitely gonna hold on to Anastasia Amrezi. This was my best of 2018. Same with my Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. Um, here is, oh, here's the Rev Soleil in, here's the Rev, Rev Soleil, I'm probably slaughtering that. This one, I don't know, it just didn't live up to the Banque de Sable, and I was really hoping they were going to, so I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this also. All right, the Natasha Denona Super Glow Powders. Love these, gonna hold on to those. NARS uh, Fort de France, I love. This is Albatross, which I really enjoy also if I want something really, really icy. And then we have, uh, here it is, Capri, which is a pinker one. Also gonna hold on to that. And oh, this Givenchy, this one I just got, so I haven't gotten a chance to use it too much, but isn't that pretty? This is Shimmer Powder in number one, Shimmery Pink. It's really pretty. It's a, like a, whoops, it's like a warm kind of pink. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I have this Rodin um, Mermaid Luxury Illuminating Powder. This is part of their Mermaid collection over the summer. And this was limited edition. I don't think this is available anymore, but I love this highlight. I don't talk about it because, you know, you guys can't get it anymore, but it is really beautiful. I don't know why like the best highlights seem to be limited edition, but they are. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Becca, this is Champagne Pop. I still love Champagne Pop, so I'm gonna hold on to this. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Summer Glow. Oh, this one is very, very interesting. This is almost like that uh, Natasha Denona Bronze Powder. It doesn't quite work on my skin tone, but I like it anyway. It's really warm, kind of orangey. I like this. I'm going to hold on to this. Oh, here's the flesh. Here's one of the few things I actually liked from the line, the highlighter. It has a nice sheen. This is going to go in the maybe pile, though. I don't feel like I ever reach for this, and I was not a fan of this whole line. Um, so I'm going to put this in the maybe. Uh, another Clay de Peau. This is definitely more of a highlight where that one was, the other one was a uh, blush topper. Really pretty subtle highlight. These powders definitely look better applied than swatching. When you swatch them, they look a little powdery, but once you blend them out actually on your face, they're quite lovely. Okay, we can actually see what's going on here. Oh, the Bank de Sable. This is such a great highlight palette. Oh my gosh, and this formula too. I don't know what they did and why they can't bring back this formula, but it is stunning, stunning. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna hold on to this. The Estee Lauder Heat Wave Bronze Goddess Highlighter. This is really pretty. It's so much fun. It's so wet looking. It's so golden. <laughs> it's really, really stunning. So I'm gonna hold on to that. What are these? Oh, so these are the um, Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizers in Hollow Pink. I actually don't like these powders. And I know Mel Thompson does, so I think I'm going to contact her and see if she wants me to send these to her. Because I know she loves them so much, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not a fan. They kind of remind me of that Dior Compact, that Dior palette. Um, this one, where like... They're not, it's not chunky, but you can just see like the little bits of the glitters in there and I don't like that. Well, I'm going to um, get rid of these, but I'm gonna see if Mel Thompson wants them. And I think I have the other one too, the hollow gold. Yeah, I thought I was gonna like the hollow gold at least, but it just has, I don't know, it's just too, yeah, there's too like too many bits in there. So let me set these aside for her if she wants them. All right, this is part of the regular line. So this is just 001, and this is beautiful, beautiful highlight. Much smoother, I feel like, than the hollow ones. 
So I'm gonna hold on to this. And I just skipped over these because I don't, I don't know what to do with these. So this is the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter. I have it in two luminous gold and they actually sent this to me through Octoly and I picked the wrong color. This is just not the right color for me. But this formula, this feels like cream. This really feels like cream in the pan and it's just so, so pretty. Look at that. But this color's way too dark for me way way too dark for me so while I love it it's like I just take it out and swatch it every once in a while I'm, I'm just never gonna wear it so I'm going to uh donate that and then this palette I just I want to love it's from Orbe but it's one of those face palettes and these strips are way too small and the highlight powder by itself is uh unremarkable it's just kind of blah and then when you kind of swirl everything together it's like I don't know, you just don't really get anything. So I think, unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of this. Oh my God, my foot is asleep. I need to stretch out my leg. Oof, getting too old to be sitting on the floor. Let's see what's up here. Oh, this Laura Mercier Face Illuminator Collection. This is from many years ago. And I had never tried any of the Laura Mercier highlighters before, so I thought this was a good palette to give it a shot. And I use just this one. This is the only one I think I use. I think all the tones are just wrong for me. They're all too dark or off. And like this one is too light. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh my God, I didn't even realize I had this other one, but that's right. I purchased this because I was so in love with the rose gold, but this one is the nude gold. Whoa, I'm losing it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna hold on to this and actually use it. I have some Fenty's. So this is so stunning, but I've never actually used it. So I'm gonna hold on to this so I can use it. Uh, I have Trophy Wife, which, you know, is so like inappropriate for my skin tone, but it's this is so much fun that I have to hold on to it. And then I see a couple back here. Let me just get them while we're talking about Fenty. This is Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. And then this one is Me Money Hustler Baby. So I like this side. I don't really know what to do with this side. It's definitely too deep for a highlight. As a blush, it's too sparkly. Well, I'll hold on to this because I do like this side. I just have to remember to use it. And I love the Mean Money Hustler Baby. This is really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to those. Oh God, I'm looking at the rest of this and I don't see anything that I'm probably gonna get rid of. Um, these Tom Ford limited edition uh, highlights, powders, I think some of them are back. This one, uh, the Black Bloom, I actually enjoyed a lot more than I think most people did. I think this is actually a pretty nice highlight. That was really great. This one I really enjoyed. This is the um, Soleil Bloom. This has like a little bit of a warmth to it. And then this one is kind of like a blush topper. And it's just, it's really, really cool, but it's very hard and not very pigmented, but I think it is meant to be like a little bit of a topper. So anyway, these were not very popular, but I really enjoyed them and I liked them. So I am gonna hold on to those. Here is another limited edition MAC Robert Lee Morris collaboration. They called this a blush, but this really is just a beautiful highlight. I think this is called, yeah, Peach. And I kept the two blushes from this collection and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this highlight. Look at that. It's so pretty. Let's move these up. This also is another organizer from Sunny Cosmetics, S-O-N-N-Y. All right, I have a bunch of Ofra highlights here, and I really love them. I'm definitely keeping these two. This is Beverly Hills, and this one is Rodeo Drive. These are probably two of my favorites. And then this is Blissful, and this is Glow Goals. Um... So this is Blissful. This one is Glow Goals. This one looks a little bit darker. Which one is this one? Glow Goals? Okay, I'm gonna hold on to these. And then I have two, whoa, two Laura Geller um, baked gelato highlighters. And I don't think I've ever used, actually I used this one once 
but I haven't used this one yet. So I'm going to hold on to them. They're really pretty too. These are cult classics for a reason. Um, Stila, this is Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Luminescence. This is just super cool, like putty texture. Isn't that pretty? It's like a rose gold, kind of goes on sheer. So pretty. So I'm going to hold on to this. All my Hourglass uh, finishing powders, I'm going to hold on to these. Uh, luminous light, radiant light, diffuse light, actually ethereal light I may get rid of because it's almost just like a white and I never really have a need for this. I don't even know why I picked this up. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have some MAC, oh this is Rouge Bunny Rouge. This is their highlighting powder in Goddess. Oh it has like a satin sheen. Okay, I'll hold on to that. I really like this brand um, anyway. And then here is Soft and Gentle from MAC. And this is kind of a cult classic too. So I'm going to hold on to this. It's a little bit glittery for me. I definitely don't use this one often, but uh, I like having it. So I'm going to hold on to that. Oh boy, this is Modern Mercury. Woo, such a good highlight from Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder. So, so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Look at that like rose gold color. It just makes for a great like blush topper highlight area. It's gorgeous. So here is another limited edition uh, Year of the Dog highlight from Giorgio Armani. And I used to have a pug and there's like a pug imprint on there. Isn't that adorable? So definitely not going to be using this. I'm just going to be holding on to this uh, for collector's purposes. So I'm going to set that aside. And then what are you? Oh, Hot Sand and Laguna. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't really like Laguna that much and I have that big hot sand. So I'm going to donate that. All right. I have a little Jouer. This I actually got in my Beautylish Lucky Bag last year. This is in Skinny Dip and I'm embarrassed to say I've never used it. But wow, that is pretty stunning. It's a little dark for my skin tone, but that's never stopped me before. So I'll hold on to this. Hopefully I will use it soon. And then I've got a Becca Opal. I don't think I realized I had this. I always thought this was Moonstone every time I looked at it. But here is Opal. Oh, pretty. It's a little cool toned. I thought there was going to be a little bit more warmth in there. I like my highlights with a little peachiness. Maybe I'll toss this. I think that's why I like the Champagne Pop. The Champagne Pop has that necessary, like, peachy tone to it that I really love. So anyway, yeah, maybe I'll get rid of this. Uh, I have some drugstore ones back here that unfortunately are ignored because I just always reach for my more luxury brands. But this is the Essence Pure Nude. This is the one that everyone loves. It's a great subtle highlight but I'm going to pass this along because I'm never going to use it. And then here's the Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch. This is actually a, <laughs> such a great highlight. Wet n Wild highlights are really, really fun. There's that one, but I'm going to pass it along. I'm going to pass it along. And then we have, oh, an iridescent pressed powder in Sparkling Rose. This was part of that Among the Fireflies collection with MAC. Limited edition, this must be like three or four years ago, but I loved this collection. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. It's kind of just brushing away. I wonder if it's old at this point. It's kind of brushing away. Mm, yeah, maybe it's time to give this one up. And then I have, oh, my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer and Highlight 01. I love this. This was one of the first highlighters I ever purchased. This was like as shiny as I could go, and it's so pretty. It's great for every day. So I'm going to hold on to that. I have the MAC Whisper of Guilt. I finally got my hands on it. Haven't used it, though, but this one is nice wet gold sheen, but it does have a little bit of like a peachy undertone. So I'm going to hold on to this, and then I have all of these that I'm not going to get rid of. My um, Chanel Highlights. This one I really love. Oh, that's such a good one. Then here are some of the lion ones. Yeah, these lines with the red case came out like last year and then this one came out more recently and it ended up being a little bit darker than either of the other lions. 
So anyway, so I'm going to put back as many highlighters into this organizer that I can and then um, maybe try and play around with the blushes a little bit. So I'll speed this section up and hopefully we can get this better organized. Oh, I didn't even show you guys these Becca um, highlights that I have. The Chrissy Teigen one. This one was okay. I know people were pissed that <laughs> they put everything all into one pan, but I didn't mind it. If you swirled it all together, it just made like for a nice cheek topper. So that's Endless Glow. This is the Sananas one. And then this one is the Royal Glow. This was for the Meghan Markle wedding. So the dividers up here are um, smaller, they're narrower, so I may need to do a little bit of rearranging, but I think most of the, well, let's see, oh no, those could go up there. So I may need to move some of these up into this one and get more highlighters down in here. And these are like cream blushes, so I'm actually going to move these up. All right, so now I can put smaller highlighters up here. shaped ones. This one's really big. Uh, this is a palette. This won't fit up there. And then I have these Ofras that won't fit up there either. So these just have to continue sitting on top. Oh, and this Robert Lee Morris one, which there's no organizer in the world that can house this. Anyway, that's it for this declutter. Let me show you what I ended up decluttering. All right. So these are all the highlighters that I am going to be getting rid of. Not bad. Again, a lot more than I thought I would be. And then I'm going to um, DM Mel Thompson and see if she wants these. I think she'd like this too. So maybe I could just send her all these Dior highlights. But the rest of these I'm going to find a new home for. And hopefully they will be more loved than they have been in my collection. So that's it for this declutter. We're going to do large eyeshadow palettes next. I just have to gather strength for that one because... I can, I can just talk myself into keeping eyeshadow palettes and even ones that I haven't used in a year. So anyway, subscribe down below if you uh, are interested in that or if you're interested in any of my content. I would love that and I'll see you in my next video.